That's right. This is how I pack my models. Do you have a problem with this? I'm sorry. How dare you? Uh, and then a little sprinkle. Ta-da. There are, of course, so many things you can do when it comes to, you know, how much you want to pimp out your tournament rig, if you will. But, um, oh, that, is that going to be dumb? Can I call this video pimping out your tournament rig? No, nah, that's not going to make sense. Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here, and today I want to look at everything you need to take to a tournament for Kill Team. Uh, just to, obviously this is like blown up on screen, it's, it's tiny, this is it. This is everything that you need when you go to a, a full tournament. I have, I have a full roster in this box. Uh, you know, I could have gone easy, I could have done, just done six models into session. Nope, full roster in here, uh, and I want to talk about what this box is uh, and what's inside so that if you're considering going to a tournament uh, and you don't want to go to some crazy big 40k thing you can just take a teeny tiny thing uh, like you don't even need to put it in a bag you can just carry this if you have a particularly large pocket particularly large pocket gang rise up uh, and also though i want to quickly say that some people have won talking about tournaments uh, for those of you unaware i recently did a vip package giveaway for Kill Team Open. And let's quickly bring that up. Who is it? It is this chap here, uh, at CodeMac1992. Uh, he has five days left to reach out to me. If he doesn't reach out, I will redo the draw. Uh, there you go. I wanted to, that was, the draw was done live on Twitch, so people saw me being unable to count. Uh, so if that guy could reach out, we can get him VIP ticket to uh, Kill Team Open. Also, on the Kill Team Open side of things, before we dive into what is in Glass's box, uh, I am going to Kill Team Open. So that's super hyped. I'm gonna be there for like the Friday till the Monday, hopefully can record a bit of content, but also obviously I'm actually there to sit down and stream. Uh, so I'll be shout casting for the two days. Uh, and then might even, might even play some games in Kill Team After the Dark or on the Friday or Monday before and after. Also, it's been announced that my co-conspirator is Wakamo. Ah, oh, I definitely didn't say that name correct. I'm going to go with the Jackamo, but I don't know, man. It's, it's not my, yeah, I don't know how to say that. Uh, from the Squad Games podcast. Um, uh, and so that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty, pretty hyped to do that. Going to be a tough weekend for everybody. But, you know, hey, like, bit, well, only Kill Team convention, but also potentially biggest. Uh, I think currently they've sold 70 tickets out of 100 for the competitive side alone. That's not even talking about the narrative, the painting that's going on. Okay, with that said, with that done, let's dive into things. First things first, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I'd like to give you a big double hello. Uh, well, that double hello is subscriber-only benefit, and it's just really to let people know that Double hello. That's it. That's literally the whole of it. Um, also, you know, instead of promoting my other things, my patron, etc., instead I'm going to say, before Kill Team Open, the weekend before, I'm going to play on tabletop, which I'm really excited for as well. If you want to know more about that, jump over to my patron. I've talked a little bit more about it, and I will be talking a bit more about it uh, before I actually head over there. Okay, with that done. That said, let's look at this bad boy right here. So this is a really useful box. 1.6 liter this is it this is everything uh this has everything i need to play the game it has multiple sets of dice it has uh let's dive in let's dive in uh this is it doesn't have to be this particular smoke color that's just uh what i had lying around first things first we have this bad boy right here uh for those of you unaware of this this is the big old so I printed this out whenever it was first released, version 1.3, haven't changed it since. Uh, absolutely great thing. I don't use this anymore, I've got to be honest, um, like I've, I've never looked at special rules, I've never looked at actions, I don't need any of that. The only thing I use this for is the match play sequence at the top, and that's it. And now, actually, now that GW has gone out and uh, given us a, a card, that fits with our tack ops in this. Um, I might th stop using this completely, but I haven't yet, as you can tell, it's still in there. Next thing, next thing. You might think I'm about to start promoting 
my own objective. No. More important than that, poster putty. I think that's the generic term for it, right? Blue tack, white tack, whatever you call it. Um, take some. You've got to have this in your box. 100%. What do you do with this? What do you do with this? So firstly, you can use it to stick down objectives, obviously. You can also use it, and this is what I use it for, to stick down your barricades. All barricades need to have two little dobs of this on it. 100%. Your life will immediately improve. Uh, also, if you have particularly dodgy terrain, because of course you don't control the terrain you're playing on, uh, a little bit of this underneath each corner, that terrain's solid, not going anywhere. This is the number one pick in any toolbox. Tournament box. Uh, tournament. Tournament objective markers. So these are just my own objective markers. Um, they have both an inner and an outer circle, the correct measurements. Uh, you can buy these on my Etsy store. Um, I think that th there's a few left. I printed out a bunch and I've allowed my patrons to purchase them first. Um, and now once my patrons have, have had their fill, I'm putting the rest up on my Etsy store so you can go buy these. Um, this is super useful. I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I dislike... No. Adding these into my game makes every game easier to play. Okay? It is one less thing you have to measure. There is never a question of whether or not something is in distance. Uh, you, you're never accidentally measuring at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the turn. You are always able to say, from a glance, I know who's on what objective. There you go. Uh, you don't have to get mine. You, other people sell these. Um, I do this particular, like, uh, you know, plastic. Uh, you can also get, like, mouse mat material. If you're a patron, um, you get access to the digital file of this. So, honestly, even if you don't want to pay the extra to get them plastic, just print them out on plain paper and use them. These are incredibly useful for all of your gaming needs. We then get... Uh, oh, so... You're about to see something that some may find rather traumatic, okay? You're about to see how I keep my models. Uh, so this is just some padding. Now I will say, if you have fewer models in here, what you could do is put a nice little sheet here uh, and magnetize them. I have not done that. There you go, that's it. So this is a full Hyrotech circle roster in here. I will say when you're in the actual, uh, when you're in the actual day, you can use this as your tray uh, and use a little bit of this, a classic poster putty, a uh, little dob of this on the bottom of a base and you can just stick them all to this and this becomes a very easy handy to move around tray. Um, so you don't have to magnetize that. Right, so, th okay. So firstly, we have uh, tokens. Obviously you have to have your tokens. I have custom acrylic ones from wartiles.com, I think. Uh, I really like these. I think they stand out. They're very vibrant. I go with blue. I also have red and yellow lying around. These are super cool. I also, if you see these little bits here, you see you have, some of them are just an order, like this. But then others have like a little uh, symbol below the order. I use that to track my equipment as well. So I know which object, so you know, uh, this this has a gun under it. Uh, so whoever, so I have both a conceal and an engaged order token. Uh, and I just find the one that has the gun on both of those. And I know, then I know that it, whoever has the gun order token uh, means that they have a grenade or something like that. So super easy. F and I end up with fewer tokens on the board and I know exactly who has the uh, equipment. Cool. We then obviously have these bad boys. Now, I am aware that not everybody likes to use these, and but I only use these. I don't use anything else. I have never ever felt the need to have a, uh, a tape measure. And actually, I'm going to throw it out there. I don't think people should use tape measures. I think a tape measure is distinctly the worst piece of equipment to measure your things with. There you go. Uh, but you know, you, like, you do you, do you whatever you want. I personally, I think that the widgets are actually pretty good. Uh, we then have all of our models. I suppose I should get them out. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Lovely. 
Uh, this isn't going to become some weird hobby thing where I then look at all of my models, but they are all here. Uh, so as I said, this is a, a full roster. So it's... Well, that's not true, actually. Sorry. The only thing I would like to add... Oh, uh, so this is no longer needed in the new TAC Ops. However, a little bit of poster putty on the bottom of a base uh, with one of the acrylic tokens, and you've got yourself a hidden objective. So if you're not playing the new TAC Ops cards, you could still consider doing that. Yep, I'm still just getting these out. Sorry, guys. That's the downside of having a full roster, right? The only thing I might consider adding more here um, is, you know, now that the buff to the equipment on the death mark, maybe? But I, I don't think so. I think it's fine. We then have a laser line. You don't have to take a laser line, right? But man, laser line is real good. Hold this bad boy up here. Boom, look at that. Um, I will say, when I'm trying to be real precise, a little bit of laser line usage guidance here, okay? You're leaning over the table. I, this sounds dumb. I anchor it against my head. This isn't to get a line of sight. This is just so that my, you know, things move less. There you go, right? So I can get the exact angle I need. And instead of hovering here and like getting, oh, maybe, it's like, nope. You find an anchor, do that. Suddenly your laser line is rock solid just like my head, uh, super glue. As you can tell from the way that I uh, pack my models, at some point I might break a model. Uh, I like this super glue, it's just sounded Loctite like uh, gel glue, but whatever. Um, you know, you've also got some Gorilla Glue you can use, this is pretty good too, um, or some, some runny glue. Personally, I prefer the gel, but you do you. Just something small that you can fit in there. <laughs> no, don't say anything, don't say anything. Uh, we then have three barricades, because I'm only playing for myself. What do we see on the bottom here? We see me slacking, that's what we see. We only see one dot on two of them. You should have two dots of poster party on all three of your barricades. There you go. Obviously you have to have your barricades. We then have dice. You only need, this is kill team, you only ever need six dice. So we've got six of them, okay? How are they going to roll? Ah, oh, hot, nice. Uh, and then I have some extra dice. Uh, I use these just for wound tokens. So there's just an amount in there, just whatever fit. I didn't like sit down and think, oh, okay, well, if every single model has taken X number of wounds, the absolute possible maximum amount, uh, how many dice would I need? I just have that. And then I have my Tac Ops cards. Now, as you can tell, so I actually, to challenge myself, uh, I went in and I got these Tac Ops cards, because obviously they're slightly larger than the previous Tac Ops cards, just to show that you could fit this size Tac Ops card in here instead of the smaller ones. So what I have here is Recon, Security, and my three faction Tac Ops. And that is because, again, this is specific to the Hyrotech Circle team. Now, if I really knew what I was doing, I probably wouldn't take all of these. For example, I think, j just off the top of my head, you know, this isn't tactical advice, I think that I don't need three of these faction tack ops, I think I need faction tack op one because don't forget, we are picking our tack ops, and I think that actually, you know, let's say from security, I never take, I don't know, hold them back for whatever reason, so I don't need to take that. I could condense this fifteen cards uh, down to let's say six, so I still have some I can swap in and out, but yeah, you don't need to take all of these, but for my own interest. I have so that I can still mix it up because although yes this is a tournament kit I am this is just what I'm taking to my local my local game night to play um, and I I did it up real nice like this because why not and let's pack it back in to show that actually this is pretty easy to pack it's not like I've spent ages if you couldn't tell I did not spend ages packing this uh, yeah, I would hope that came across uh, largest model in first obviously then they just, yeah, this is right. That's right. This is how I pack my models. Do you have a problem with this? I'm sorry. How do you? Uh, and then a little sprinkle. Ta-da. You know, very, very casual. There you go. Yeah, that's how I treat my models. What? And what? Oh, I forgot to put the glue in. Ah, okay. Well, okay. This is an issue. The glue should have gone in first. Um, because although I obviously just threw all of my models in here very casually, uh, that was a joke. Um, and unfortunately, glue is some, uh, because obviously the glue is a hard, 
rigid body. Um, it could actually damage the models, so the glue needs to go in down the side. I think that's. Uh, I'm now rushing it because I'm, I'm just directly on one of my model's heads there, but it's fine. Whatever, who cares? It's just Necrons, they suck. Uh, cool. Okay, models, little shake. There you go. Done. Uh, and then we put everything else in on top. Good stuff. Look at that. We then have the thing that makes it all, wait, all, all work. There you go. Bit of packaging. We then have our delightful objective markers. We have the almighty poster party. We have this thing that I don't need anymore, but it's super useful. And we have that. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that double angle. How weird. Uh, okay. Well, with that said, that's it. That's everything you need to take to a tournament. So, um, yeah, there are, of course, so many things you can do when it comes to, you know, how much you want to pimp out your tournament rig, if you will. But, um, oh, that, is that going to be dumb? Can I call this video pimping out your tournament rig? No, nah, that's not going to make sense. Ah, screw it. I'll cut this bit out and put it at the beginning. It'll be funny. Um, so... Uh, this for me is something that is very simple, very easy, and despite how blasé I just threw everything in, I know nothing in here is going to be damaged. I'm I'm going to be taking this on a flight. I'll probably be playing these at play on tabletop, and I know, and this is all I'm going to take, and that's it. And I know that they're going to be just fine, even through a flight, no issues. And that's it. There you go, uh, guys. Let me know. Do you think more needs to be added? Do you think I'm missing something? Do you think... Oh, I will say, actually, one thing that I didn't have in here is some 25 mil bases. I think you need to have eight 25 mil bases in here. And if you want to know why, there is going to be a short coming up soon that explains how you can measure using 25 mil bases. And I think it's genuinely pretty useful. Um, but that's that's for another time. That's for another time. For now, we just have this delightful tournament kit. Tournament rig, I've decided it's going to be called. Am I missing anything? Do you think anything needs to be added in here? Um, or are you a crazy person and you're like, oh yeah, I go to a tournament and yeah, I, I keep, you know, I keep everything really nice and concise. But I'm also one of those people that has to paint the night before, so I take another full bag filled with paint and brushes so that I can finish my team. Um, are you also somebody that, because, you know, I've seen this too, uh, for tournaments that don't force you to lock a list in, people will bring multiple lists. They, they will bring, you know, their Gellapox, their Harlequins, their Pathfinders, their, their Hunter Clades, so that they can look at the boards and say, okay, I'm going with this team. Um, in which case, obviously, you can't do this. But the, for the real OGs out there, this is, of course, how you do it. And if you've made it to the end of the video, conversely to the double hello, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wasn't that filled with wholesomeness? I'm just going to say uh, thank you for watching to the end of the video. Genuinely, one of the best things you can do to help a small channel like mine is just watch time. Watch till the end of the video. I hope this has been interesting for you. And if you want to know more about me going to play on tabletop, uh, check out my Patreon, where I intend to talk a little bit more about things there once I know what play on tabletop will allow me to talk about. Uh, cool. Okay, well, with that said, everybody, uh, hey, my Americans, I will see you at Kill Team Open, I hope. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to hanging out with some fans over there. Uh, and that's it. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Don't forget to pimp your tournament rig.